Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ari. I'm a Taurus Sun, Cancer Rising, Aquarius Moon, and a Life Path number seven. If you're not new here, thank you for watching another video of mine and choosing to support me further. It does mean a lot to me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you do leave this video, especially if you're able to relate or connect with this reading. So today, everyone, I am here with the channel messages reading from your person for all of my Tauruses who are watching. So if you have Taurus as your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or anywhere in your chart, then this reading may resonate or apply to you. So Taurus, your person is whoever is currently on your mind right now. You two may be in separation and communication at a distance from one another. Just whoever in your heart is your person, that's your person, and you'll know. Before I do go ahead and get into your energy and your reading, Taurus, please keep in mind that this will be a general reading for the sign of Taurus, so it may not resonate or relate to you specifically, and if it does not, please don't take it personally. Alright, Taurus, so with that being said, let's get started with your reading. First, what we'll do is pull some situations oracle cards to check in on the energy that we have coming towards you at this time. This could be the energy that you're dealing with currently as well. But let's see what we have going on for you, Taurus. First card that did come out, karmic third party relationship lesson. I'm going to go ahead and pull an extra card for you, Taurus, as well. Just because that came out pretty quickly. Let's get another card, please, for Taurus. Poison, toxic, unhealthy behaviors, people. What else do we need to know here for my Tauruses, please, when it comes to love and their connection? What other energy do we have coming towards Taurus? Access granted, social media, fake profile, hiding. And let's just get one more card, please, for Taurus. Retaliation, punish, payback, revenge. All right, Taurus, so... Please keep in mind any energy, feelings, emotions, actions that I'm describing from your person. That could be how you feel. The roles could be reversed. Just however this reading resonates for you. And also, Taurus, not everything will or has to resonate for you out of this reading. But we do have karmic, third-party, relationship lesson. Poison, toxic, unhealthy behaviors, people. Access granted. Social media, fake profile, hiding. And we also have retaliation, punish, payback, revenge. So Taurus, um, I do feel like this energy is very specific for some of my Tauruses watching this. Um, I feel like someone, a karmic, since we do have this karmic energy, they may have hurt you, um, Taurus. And this could be in the moment now, but, or from the past and I, I feel like this karmic has still been trying to get a hold of your energy here um and the fact that they have followed you or like this is done like our connection ended like I want no parts in this anymore the fact that they're still like following you trying to get a hold of your energy that really lets you know that this is toxic like I cannot share my energy with you because you're an energy vampire so i feel like you taurus you you can't be deceived by this person anymore you might be like not dealing with anyone at this time anyone else like you're single because mixing your energy with other people's is it's just a headache it it's better for you taurus of course only take it how it resonates but for you it's like I'd rather only be concerned with how I feel, my energy, be fully in control of the energy that I'm giving and receiving from people. So, yeah, Taurus, I feel like there's a karmic that you might still be dealing with. You don't want to deal with them, but the fact that you are and the fact that you cut this off, it just goes to show what you walked away from and why you needed to walk away from it because it was draining your energy now and it's it's draining your it was draining your energy then and it's draining your energy now and I feel like this person they've like I said 
prior previously they've been trying to get a hold of your energy with this access granted card social media fake profile hiding it's like this person making multiple accounts and that's not okay towards that's that's um imposing on your privacy on your on your boundary so yeah Taurus I feel like you left this person in the past for good but they can't help but still want some of your energy your attention your time your love everything about you so we have access granted and retaliation punish payback revenge I feel like for you Taurus your revenge was cutting this person off and really letting them know that you will not have my energy like you once did you won't have it at all anymore like finally cutting this person off and when it hit like that Taurus it's like you never knew this person because you you were cut and dry it was a complete 180 all right Taurus so we might be able to pick up on this past energy this might be a present energy for you um, but let's see what overall we have coming towards you when it comes to love can we please get a few cards for my Tauruses? What energy do we have for Taurus? Who's this person that Taurus is dealing with, please? Let's go ahead and get two more specific messages, please, for Taurus. Alright, so this card did fall. It's Pick it up and see what we have. All right, let's just get one more. Let's get one more card, please, for Taurus. All right, Taurus. So we have our first few cards here. Once again, please only take what resonates for you out of this reading. All right, Taurus. So first card that did come out, I always think of the perfect thing to say to you. I want to please you. Match my energy so I know it's safe to come closer. Be my valentine. Are you going to get tired of this? We also have, you make me a better person. Should have known you were like the rest. If you really cared, you'd realize we can get through this. And then we have, you can have anyone you want, you are magic. So Taurus, I feel like there's this energy of this karmic. And with this karmic, it's like you had a deep relationship with them. I feel like it may have gone on for some years. And when you, Taurus, knew that it should end, you, you did not end it. So it kind of prolonged. So I, I feel like somewhere within that karmic relationship, it, it got really messy and it may have been unbelievable or a shock to this karmic that once you were done, you were done. You were not trying anymore. You were not trying to make this work. You were not putting all this weight on your back. So I, I feel like this person can't get over it or they didn't get over it and I feel like this is also the type of person who uses how they feel to try to make you feel bad as well, guilty, and the type of person to guilt trip you. Um, and I, I also feel like this person holds things above your head. Like we do have, if you, if you really cared, you'd realize we can get through this. Like they might not hear you out for the exact words you're saying. If you're saying like, I'm not feeling this anymore, like I, I need space, I need time, they, they still might pressure you into making this work, coming closer together. So someone who oversteps your boundaries. So I feel like there's that energy of this karmic and then an energy of a new person coming along or just how you view people who do approach you, who try to get to know you, Taurus, because you're aware of how people can switch it up, how people can be deceiving also how lovers can end up being jealous of you because you come to find out that this isn't going to work we need to go our separate ways so I feel like you're you're really trying to stay away from any malicious energy 
So let's get into this energy, Taurus. Um, first, you can have anyone you want. You are magic. I feel like this came out in another Taurus reading I did recently, but this is for you, Taurus, and I feel like this is what this person, in a way, can't get over. Like, so many people are going to be attracted to you, Taurus, and they won't receive your love like they once did. Someone else will. So, yeah, this karmic energy is not good that I, I feel like just someone who is envious, jealous, who like the type of person like say you two were in an argument or a disagreement with one another. They they say something that you never would have even thought they would say, like something that they use against you. But once they express it, it's like, oh, that's how you really feel like that's what you were holding to yourself this whole time so something that exposes their true colors we have um let's get into match my energy so i know it's safe to come closer i feel like this is the energy you put out there taurus because you know that love you have to give already the love that you want to give and you might hold yourself back from giving that love right away when you sense the good in someone or you see the potential already and you, you just want it all to come together so quickly you may have learned to pace yourself to gauge yourself and not give in too soon towards a person so once they're showing their energy their effort then that's when you'll you'll take the steps closer to them because i feel like for you taurus you know that you're not about to switch up your time is valuable and plus taurus is really only do something when we're most comfortable so yeah Taurus I, I feel like you're waiting on someone or whoever you come across to really lay it down let you know how they feel and what they want with you exactly we do have you make me a better person so this card right here Taurus sorry if I'm switching back from the karmic to this new person or this new energy but I feel like this is this karmic energy right here um, it's like when you were in their life, a lot of things were good, Taurus, and that doesn't mean they can't have good things without, with you not being in their life, but I, I feel like they placed a lot of their happiness on you, and maybe you, Taurus, you were the type to facilitate things for this person to really, really step in and expose this person to new opportunities, just being a, a supporter and a, an encourager towards this person. So I feel like this person feels like when you were in their lives, a lot of things were so much better. But if they were an energy vampire, they may have relied on you too much. And maybe that's something that you wanted them to step up about, like put in the effort yourself if you want it for yourself. We also have should have known you were like the rest. So this could be a mutual energy here, Taurus. With this karmic, you may have put a lot of like optimism into them, just hoping that they had your best and hoping that you had their best interest or hoping that they wouldn't do you wrong. Of course, Taurus, I, I feel like this connection ended because it had to, but maybe they they also did something to wrong you, to hurt you. But I also feel like this is this person's, this karmic's energy in the sense that they blame you for a lot of things, that guilt tripping, like when you're doing something because that's what you need to do for yourself, they might throw something like this in your face, like you're just like everyone else, or it's like this person doesn't understand that as an individual person, I need my own time, I need my own space, and with you not understanding that, it just creates a bigger barrier between us. We have, are you going to get tired of this? I feel like this is your energy, Taurus. Not like this is how you feel. Like just knowing when something or someone doesn't gauge your interest here. And this is why you're, you're scoping any new love interest out. Match my energy so I know it's safe to come closer. It's like you're, you're trying to follow exactly what you want in a person. And that doesn't mean you're being shallow or anything like that, but you want something long lasting here so nothing like that solves the temporary fulfillment or want like is going to soothe you for the long run 
I always think of the perfect thing to say to you. I want to please you. I do feel like this is this new person's energy coming through here, Taurus. I feel like they're interested in you, but on a much deeper level, so deeper than the surface level here. And I, I also feel like they may feel as though they can't read your mind towards like you might be hard to scope out yourself so it's like they they want to attract you they don't want to say something to throw you off or turn you off so this person being very like detailed about their interactions with you and in the end they don't have to try that hard if they are of course come with like some effort but like don't overthink it don't overdo it be my valentine so this is their energy you might have a new love offer or maybe be meeting someone new around valentine's day maybe going out but let's see what else we have for taurus let's just get two more cards please and we'll just get one more card for taurus and we have that card you're the one I want to spoil. I've missed you so much. And we also have, we never see eye to eye. A relationship requires compromise. All right, Taurus. So you're the one I want to spoil. I feel like this is this new person's energy coming through here. And I do feel like they, like I just said, they want to be detailed. They want to capture your attention here. Um, but also by showing you, proving you, actions speak louder than words. So it's like they're putting out their words and they're putting out their actions to back it up all around. Then we have some of this karmic energy. I've missed you so much. I feel like this is this person. They might still try and call you to this day, Taurus, to get a hold of you. And I, I feel like at this point, it's like they know that you're not budging or you're not facilitating things in order to reconcile together. So they might be taking like their, their frustration out on you. Like it's, it's not pleasant, their energy. And then we also have, we never see eye to eye. A relationship requires compromise. This person not understanding your wants, your needs, your desires. And it's like, you weren't even asking for too much Taurus, but I feel like this person really overstepped their boundaries and, or your boundaries. And they didn't consider you, your feelings, your emotions, your space. All right, Taurus, let's see what sign you might be dealing with. Can we please get a sign for Taurus, Gemini? We have Virgo. Let's get one more sign for Taurus, please. And Sagittarius. All right, Taurus, I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that for today. As always, I appreciate the love and support. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.